I'll remember that for next time, maybe. <laughs> Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. What a lovely rainy morning it is. Yes. That's okay. Um, I'm watching a little girl right now, and she's coughing everywhere. So, um, if you hear that, I do apologize. It's probably going to be uh, scattered throughout the episode. So, uh, I... I probably won't be able to cut all of them. I'm just gonna let that go up front, let you know what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed our creepy pasta last episode. I woke up super, super late in the day, like 1 o'clock, and didn't feel like uh, I could get much done in that day. So we tried out something different, a little uh, bottle episode, which I think is pretty cool. But, um, yeah, if you guys didn't like it or you loved it, please let me know and we'll try to do some more of that or not do some more of that <laughs> based on, uh, the, the response that I get. So, I haven't checked this place out in a while. Uh, is there anything that I, I might need in here? Hmm. I suppose not. Oh my god, there is a zombie. I thought my guy was just being paranoid because he's a hypochondriac. Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? And we are uh, collecting keys now. So that's gonna be a thing. I'm gonna fill up this key ring. I'm gonna be like the janitor or something. Clean up this town of zombies. And I think I cleared these out, yeah. I got basically everything out of there. I just wanted to double check because it's been a long fucking time since I've been there at all. I'm halfway thinking go to the mall today, uh, but halfway not. I just don't know. And there's Spiffos. Good old Spiffos. You know, let's talk about some mascots for a second. Mascots can be anything that you want them to be. They could be uh, a humanoid or an animal or just uh, like a horseshoe or some shit if you want. That guy's gonna start banging on the door. Come over here. Come over here. Take care of this right now. Pack of chewing gum. Mmm, chewing gum. It's gonna be so good. I gotta kinda stay in buildings, that's another reason I'm revisiting some places that I've visited before. This is all, yeah, this is all really well stocked and uh, I don't necessarily want to move it because it is a, a grocery store, so if I need some, some foods or something, this would be one of the first places that I'm reminded to go to, and it's relatively close as well. Look at all of this though, what the fuck? I got baseball bats? Orange sodas, jar lids, pastas, rice, sacks. Ooh, we might need some sacks. That might be good uh, to move the dirt on top of my base, which is something that I was planning on doing, making like a, a roof garden or something like that, but it didn't work out that way, uh, basically because one, I'm lazy, two, I already built the, the thing on the side. We should probably plant a little more in there as well. I thought I saw another baseball bat. I'm basically just collecting these up because uh, I seem to run low. I can't find them when I need them. So I want to have a shit ton. There we go. Eight baseball bats. You can call me the bat boy. Da -na 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 bat boy. Bat boy. Bat boy. Ooh, pickles. There's something. There's some pickles. Honey. Honey is always good. I'm gonna eat some more pickles. Pickles aren't for breakfast! Pickles aren't for breakfast! Yes, they are. They are when your Dayton does, because he do. I love pickles in the morning. <laughs> pickles in the morning, pickles in the evening, pickles at supper time. When pickles on a shelf full of rotten fruit, you could eat pickles any time. Hashtag Bagel Bites theme song. All right. Big shout out to Bagel Bites. I saw there were some pickles in there, but I'm looking a little full. I'm full of pickles. <laughs> like your mom. Oh, fuck, burn. You just got burnt. Oh, man. I, I burnt you so good. I think the rain stopped finally. So it's safe to go outside. I got all these baseball bats. Should I... Yeah, I should probably visit my restaurant base and see how that's all going. Probably not extremely fantastic since it's been abandoned for quite some time. Oh, it's over this way. 
I've gone too far. I must go back. And yeah, some dead zombies out here. What y'all got? What you got? What's what's this right here? Pants, shoes? No. No, I want I want what's this? There's a thing on the ground. Is it a zombie's head? <laughs> we'll just go with that. It's a zombie's head. Don't worry. Everything here, completely normal. I should make a door on this side. It's so inconvenient to run all the way over here. Oh fuck. They are banging around. Trying to get in my base. Hey bros. See this is what happens when you leave it for too long. Uh, remove the broken glass. Please and thank you. And was that guy just like... Breaking all the windows? He didn't climb in? I guess. I guess that's the explanation. My goodness. Look at all the forest clearing we've done over here, huh? Bunch of branches and twigs on the ground. I should probably repair this. But I think I left my axe and shit. Oh. It wasn't that guy. It was a lady. A lady zombie came in here. Not okay. But thank you for the key. This will come in quite handy. And it looks like everything else is uh, in decent repair. So that's good news. Nails, fertilizer, pickaxe. I don't need any of this stuff right now. No, sir. Hmm, and there's my rat trap, which I haven't checked in forever. Hello? No, I could, I could move the trap, but that's probably not what I want to do. I should uh, put some more bait in it and see if something happens that way. Look at this big pile of trash. Barbecue rat, rotten, uncooked. Did I, did I catch a rat? I guess I did. Oh no, it was uh, one that I found in a shelf or something like that. That'll do just fine. Let's see. Do I have a, an axe or a saw or both? Probably not. I probably left it all at the other base. Wonderful going. Very nice. Well, let's stick these baseball bats in here. Can I can I just stick a couple in here? Can I can I can I do something? I guess not. Okay, we'll leave baseball bats on the ground. There's a big pile of baseball bats. Ten of them. Dang. It doesn't look like there's ten of them, but there is. Looks like there's only two. Hmm. Look at all this. These fucking rifles that I'll probably never end up using. Because my skills are too low. What the fuck is going on outside? I guess it's like a giant truck or something at my house. It's just so hard to record during the day. I don't understand. <laughs> I just I just feel like I need to get some stuff done, okay? Can everybody just fucking hold on for one minute? No. No, they can't. Everybody needs something from the Dayton! Let me tell you something, Dayton. Hey, Dayton, let me drive by your house. No! Don't drive by my house. Don't fucking touch my house. <laughs> I say that to zombies, too. Hmm. I guess an axe and saw might be on this, uh, this shelf over here. Yeah. That's a good place to look. I haven't picked up any saws. Hmm. That's a shame. We're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to think this one out a little further. Of course, I didn't expect that zombie to be banging on the fucking door, but... That's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. We're part of a team. Hey, bro. Can't be over here. This is my place, not yours. Not for you! Yeah! Oh, he had some twine. I'll take some twine. I don't know why you need the twine for the uh, the fishing traps. It should be just made of wire, right? Or do you like use the twine to hold the wire together? You can use wire to hold wire together. It's like wireception or something. I'm gonna go get that saw that I saw. <laughs> the saw that I saw in the garage. J. J. Duh. What is this? What is this? This is the garage? Yes. I know I saw a saw in here somewhere. I see saw. Yay! And then, am I missing a hammer too? I'm probably missing a fucking hammer. I offloaded absolutely everything, but that's fine. We'll do what we need to do. 
Alright. Alright. Everybody good? Are we fucking happy? Kinda. As happy as you will be. With a, a horrible cough. I don't know how this child caught a cough. This, this It's just insane. You send her to school with like a bunch of other diseased children and then she comes home diseased and you're like, how? How? It doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. She goes to school. All those other school kids bring home diseases that their families have. And it's like a big uh, community of disease. <laughs> As most communities are. Alright. Let's see. Get my axe going here. Get ready for some tree chopping. Tree chopping madness. Tree chopping madness. This is a nice little one. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Or die, you know. Whatever, same difference. Saw some logs. Then I'm gonna put them up. I'm gonna put them up over here. Carpentry, wall. No, that's not what I want. Um. How to do? Oh, I didn't pick up the planks, that's why. Damn it! How could this happen to me? I need one more tree. I'll chop it down and make some planks to keep my base so safe. Cause the zombies are here. I abandoned my house. How could this happen to me? I think they make the uh the planks this way on purpose. So you chop a tree down and you only get three planks and when you need four to barricade a window. Really the the planks that the zombie peeled off should still be there, right? Or did she turn them into like wood chips or something? Do zombies eat wood? Zombievers maybe. <laughs> oh, that's a movie. If you haven't seen that movie, if you like shitty movies like me, I like good movies. Mostly, but uh, shitty movies are kind of cool sometimes too. Simpsons. All right, so let's uh, adjust all my shit back. There we go. There we go. One more time. Nice. Everything's wonderful. Okay. I should move my axe probably as well. All this stuff goes in Doctor Bag. Doctor Bag. His name is Doctor Bag. Hello, Dr. Bag. How long did you spend in medical school? I didn't go to medical school. Well, then we can't call you a Dr. Bag, can we? You're just a fucking bag, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, man. It's hectic out here. Lick. Thought she was gonna come after me. Thought you were gonna come after me, lady. Yeah, they're just uh, wandering up from the church. The church is where all the people went when they knew it was the end of the world. Well, at least the religious people. But you know, some people who aren't religious became extremely religious when the end of the world came. And Jesus was like, I don't know you, bro. And he did call him bro. I thought that was pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Alright. I don't really want to go in the church or bother clearing it out. It seems like a waste of my time and a waste of your time. Hmm, where's the direction we haven't gone? We could go back to the mall. If I drop off a bunch of shit, then uh, the mall doesn't sound like a bad idea, but it's kind of late in the day to get going over there. Um, and also, I've, I've got everything that I need, basically. I could do some more construction or something like that. Build another little hidey hole. It would probably be good to go build the hidey hole near the mall. And then I could just uh, take a bunch of shit out and use it when I need it. Wow, look at all this stuff. There's hardly anything rotten in here, except the meat. But this sweet potato's still good. What? That's amazing. How is the sweet potato still good? That's amazing. It has like its own casing. I guess that's what it is. It's got a skin on it, and if the skin ain't peeled, then you ain't got no problem. Here's this uh, construction site. Just doing a little house cleaning today. That's what we're gonna do. She's also got a saw. That might have been easier than going back to the garage, but you know. Too late. Too little too late. 
take these canned beans because I probably won't look in corpses uh, to find food unless I really, really need to. If it comes to that point in the game, then I will consider it uh, an extreme victory. I basically ate all the food in town. And once I eat all the food in this gigantic town, uh, I guess I'll move to another town. Or something. Or something. That's gonna be a good idea. Oh, I could level my blunt guard. That might be a good idea. Carpentry's pretty close too. But I think blunt guard's a good idea. Just so I don't get myself bit. That's important. And uh, I really would like accuracy to get up there as well, but... No rush. We got some time. Don't you worry. More baseball bats. More energy drinks. That's a Red Bull. Mmm. This boy got a Red Bull. Thank you so much for this gift. Even when it's warm, it's still uh, pretty okay. It's pretty okay. I wish you could collect these wedding rings. I, I hope when NPCs are implemented, you can, like, trade. And be like, I found some gold, bro. You want to trade for some gold? Here's the storage lockers and shit, which I've basically scavenged before, but I'm, yeah, I'm doubting myself now because I've missed so much and uh, decided not to take some things and it's always very, very complicated. I should um, make a mental note or maybe write down some stuff in notepad so I know what I'm, what I'm doing a little bit more. If I was in a Zombocalypse, I probably would carry a little notebook and be like, okay, this stuff is left here, but the, even that's not that reliable because you've got other people who are going to be uh, trying to loot the same shit that you are. So, not the best idea, but at least it might help a little tiny bit. Burgers? Mmm. Mmm. I like burgers. I think I ate all the burgers, but... Let's just see. Let's just have a little look. And uh, I'll have some nice lunch. A bunch of lunch. And here's some banging. I don't like that. Cigarettes, lighter, flashlight, slingshot. Slingshot might be interesting. Oh, cool. Thank you so much for driving your car super loud. Let's all get a fucking barbed wire tattoo. Barbed wire tattoo, bro. You remember those when those were cool in the 90s? My god. Ooh, they got popsicles here. Mmm. Popskickles. I like popskuckles. And then they pickle for dessert. Mmm. And there's uh, plenty of sodas as well. They should have like a soda machine, right? And then you could just take the syrup and eat the delicious syrup. Ooh. Wouldn't that be nice? Hello? Somebody banging around in here? Guess not. Oh my god. Just one outside. But where's that fucking banging coming from? There's no door. I'm gonna lock myself in this room. Have a little look. Have a little look see. Combat knife. Dude! Knives are really, really good in this game. Except they're super, super dangerous <laughs> to use. You can one-shot a zombie, except you've got to be, like, fucking right on top of them. Baseball bats are better. You can get, like, two for one. Two for one, knock them both down. Oh my god. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. You lay down. You lay down now. Ooh, he's got a dollar coin. A Sacagawea. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Sacagawea coins are still a thing. They did make them for a little while, but they have probably stopped by now. I, I, I get really excited when I get dollar coins or half dollar coins, though. Where's this fucking guy? I, I, don't, I don't see anybody banging around. It's coming through my right uh, headset, so I'm not sure. I'm not oh. sure, period. <laughs> hmm. I kind of want to go clear out some more. Basically just leveling blunt accuracy right now. There's so many maps and shit. Oh god. Hey buddies. How you doing friends? Good? That's great. I'm so happy to see you. Boom. Now your friend is dead. 
How do you feel about that? Not too good, I'd wager. Alright. Wood glue, duct tape. Basically just filling up my pockets with uh, things from zombies. Which ain't a bad thing. Not a bad idea. He's got a Glock with only one round. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you need to do. Just in case uh, shit really goes down, you can shoot yourself in the face. And not become a zombie. That's the best idea ever. See, now, now it's coming through the left earphone. Where's the fucking banging coming from? I'm trying to clear the zombies out, but I can't find the zombies. Up, oh, up, oh, car wash. Car wash time. And, ooh, give me the hot wax. Yeah, baby. That's right. Uh, so good. Now I'm so fresh and so clean, clean. After three months of no shower. That's what we got. The water's still on. And I think I left some gas cans over here. I did. Seven of them. That's amazing. Let's see what goes on in here. There's probably some more chimps and things like this that I could get from here. But I don't... Yeah, I don't really feel like hauling all that back to the base. There's some more packs of chewing gums. More sodas. I think we're going to be good for a long time. If you're living out in the woods, then okay. Maybe you need to scavenge a little harder. Make runs back into town and whatnot, but... I'm not living in the woods. I'm doing uh, I'm doing my own thing out here. Do whatever I want. Living the life. Now I'm just trying to find uh, some new adventure. New adventures! And I basically went down to the uh, the left over there, down the train tracks, and then I lost my nerve. But I don't think I've traveled down this highway quite yet. So we'll see. Life is a highway. I'm going to ride it all night long, and it's uh, 5 o'clock already, so probably shouldn't go too far. Not too far down here, but just a little bit. Oh yeah, I guess I've been down there. There's a, a corpse, but just one. Most of the corpses are still walking around. Hey everybody, nice to see ya. My name is Dayton Does. I used to do YouTube videos. It doesn't really apply to uh, survival in the Zombocalypse, though. So, I apologize for that. <laughs> I'm just doing the best I can out here. I'm, I'm just a hungry boy. Trying to find some foods. Oh. And there's uh, another branch. Oh my god. There's so many zombies, though. Should've brought the shotgun. Should've brought the shotgun. This is probably a really bad idea. Is this the loopy loop? Just a big loop? I bet that's exactly what it is. And I'm gonna be like, why did I waste so much exertion running around there? Because it's fun! Oh wow, I was totally right. See, this is what I'm saying. I need to make some more notes. I need a map and shit. I mean, they have maps now, but... It doesn't show stuff like that, it's just like, here's a mall, here's a movie theater. Wow. Thank you so much. My life has been greatly enhanced by your stupid, worthless, hand-drawn map. Which is probably exactly what somebody would say when they found my map. They'd be like, what the fuck is this? I don't understand his handwriting. Why is anything, what is this? And I'll be like, you already said what is this. And they'll be like, shut up, you're a zombie already, Dayton. And I'm like, yeah, but I live for three months. And they're like, yeah, but I live for longer. Because I'm still here and you're not. And then I'll cry a little bit. But just a little bit. Because I'm a big, strong man. So I don't cry so much. Wow. This is the food store? The food store. The grocery store? This is where people go for food? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wonderful. I was hoping it was somewhere I could just uh, take a quick rest and get rid of some of this exertion. But I know we're not that far from my hoose now. So I'm not not extremely worried about that. Don't want to stop in any of these places. I haven't really checked them, though. I don't think. Maybe I did early on. Most of this shit was rotten. I decided not to barricade any of this. Chop down some doors. 
Wow, that was smart of me. I think you can just see right through it. I can see through wooden doors. I'm X-ray cat. Oh god. We're still doing the Freddy Got Fingered thing? You did that joke like two episodes ago, Dayton. Shit's old, bro. Nobody likes it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry. I'll remember that for next time, maybe. Unless we encounter another wooden door, and then I will become X-ray cat. He sees through wooden door. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Just sit here and make an ass of myself. That's what the Dayton do. That's what the Dayton do. Why did I leave this one open? I guess because it's like relatively hidden, right? Hmm. Well, I. Yeah, I boarded up all that, so I guess uh, this is my one entry into the. What is this? Veterans Hall? I think that's what I called it. I'm pretty sure that's what I called it. And look, it's it's held up. Nobody's been able to get in here. It's so nice. Of course, uh, I can't really get out of here either. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Um, where's the door? Is that the door? I just have to open it? Oh. Okay, I'm dumb. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. I'm super dumb. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just been such a long time since I've uh, explored over here that I'm not sure what anything is anymore. Dang. Dang. Isn't it so nice to have a base this big? Yes. Yes, it is. It's fucking amazing. This is my house now. Has that zombie been here the whole time? He's starting to stink. Can we move him? Can somebody just move him? He's he's really stinking. Stinking this whole place up. If if this was my house, I would definitely at least drag the zombie outside. Like, I don't want him to be rotting in the middle of my fucking floor. That's disgusting! Let's put some more stuff on this shelf. Because apparently, it's not quite full enough. Uh, I... Probably should keep the axe. But it's so heavy. Three pounds? Are you kidding me? Ugh. I don't need the second baseball bat, I don't think. But then my other one will break and I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have put it down, but... Hindsight's 2020. Project Zomboid just uh, plays mean tricks on me all the time. And I drank all my water. Bro. How did this happen? Ah. <sighs> At least I can feel safe in my base. I don't need to worry when I open doors about getting fucking bit in the head. Bit in the head! My skull smashed open and etc etc other things. I left all my books. I was hoping for a, a little nighttime reading. But that's okay. Look at all these fucking shells, man. I got so many of them. Ah. I do want to go back to the mall tomorrow, but uh, we probably won't take so many weapons and things with us. I really want to bring um, an axe and a saw though, just so I can get some like little tertiary base over near the mall that I can fill up with stuff. I think that'd be rather nice, although uh, I'll need some sheets and some pillows and that needle. Shit, where'd I put the needle? I think it's on the shelf in the fishing base. And then I can make a bed so I can actually sleep over there if I want. And I think that will be the tits. And then we'll really be living the bandit lifestyle. That's the plan anyways. Um, you know, you always got to come up with stuff to keep your mind occupied in the zombocalypse. You don't want to just uh, sit around and wait to get eaten. That's fucking boring. <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed this episode, friends. My name has been Brandon Dayton. It still is Brandon Dayton. <laughs> <laughs> I sincerely hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy this episode, it helps the channel to get out there, increases exposure, and then we can uh, dominate the world at one point or another. At least that is my, my one true hope. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate all of you guys 100%. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, friends. Bye bye One, two, Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.